Welcome back to Living Literature. In this lesson, we will look at how to plan for and write a paragraph about a poem by South African poet Oswald Mchali, Inside My Zulu Hut. Inside My Zulu Hut by Oswald Mchali It is a hive without any bees to build the walls with golden bricks of honey. A cave, cluttered with a millstone, calabashes of sour milk, clay pots of foaming beer, sleeping grass mats, wooden headrests, tanned goatskins tied with rimpies to wattle rafters blackened by the smoke of kneaded cow dung, burning under the three-legged pot on the earthen floor to cook my porridge. Let's begin our analysis. Write about how Oswald and Charlie feels about his Zulu hut. Justify your answer by providing evidence in support sentences. We have planned our mind map with the support sentence Oswald and Charlie remembers with great pleasure his Zulu hut which he once lived in. Pause the video to have a look at our support sentences. We have got four with detailed and concrete evidence from the poem to support the main ideas. Oswald Mchali is a city man who has written many city poems, but in this one he remembers with great pleasure his Zulu hut which he once lived in. The hut is not a fancy home with appliances like a fridge, stove, TV, but it has everything he wants and needs. It is like a sweet hive without harmful bees and has what he needs to eat, drink and sleep. A quality of the hut he obviously likes is its naturalness. The hut made from natural products houses objects like a millstone, calabashes of sour milk and clay pots of foaming beer. All the other objects except the iron pot can be found in nature. Therefore, Mjali has written a poem about an aspect of rural life and skillfully shown how much he loves it. It's your turn to analyze and write about a poem. Read through the following poem by John Walsh, The New Boy, and create support sentences for the topic sentences provided. In this exercise, you will plan for and write three paragraphs. The New Boy The door swung inward. I stood and breathed the new school atmosphere, the smell of polish and disinfectant, and the flavor of my own fear. I followed into the cloakroom. The walls rang to the shattering noise of boys who barged and boys who banged. Boys and still more boys. A boot flew by me. Its angry owner pursued with force and yell. Somewhere a man snapped orders. Somewhere there clanged a warning bell. And there I hung with my new schoolmates. They pushing and shoving me. Unknown, unwanted, pinned to the wall on the verge of ready to cry. Then from the doorway a boy called out, Hey, you over there! You're new! Don't just stand there propping the wall up. I will look after you. I turned. I timidly raised my eyes. He stood and grinned meanwhile. And my fear died and my lips answered, Smile for his smile. He showed me the basins, the rows of pegs. He hung my cap at the end. He led me away to my new classroom, and now that boy is my friend. Pause the video and reflect on these questions. Have you ever experienced what this boy has gone through? What kinds of experiences does he have to go through? 
Do you think it's possible that the boy who rescues him exists in real life? Now plan for and then add support sentences to the topic sentences below. The poet uses many examples to show how strange and miserable the new boy feels. In stanza 5, there is a welcome change in his situation. The final stanza shows more action, but this time of a very happy kind. Here you have your three opening topic sentences for the three paragraphs for which you will add supporting detail. That brings us to the end of this lesson. If you would like to access the full course Think Right, it is available through Teacher. In the next lesson, we will look at some examples of the paragraphs for the new boy and also continue analyzing poetry using the paragraph method.